Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. Happy 4th of July to everyone. I hope you guys stay safe. Today I have quite a few bit of uh, happy mail that I want to share with everyone. And only like a, three items that I finished and they're so tiny that I will, I'm going to count it as one item. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to it. First thing is a thank you card from the Bath, the Bath Creek Estates. And it is actually, um, that is part of the Warm Up America seniors, um, Senior Home um, that we're looking for shawls and blankets that we donated to. So they received them and they sent us a thank you card. Very nice. I always like to um, get these, not, not because I need like a pat on the back or anything, but it just lets me know that they received them. Uh, whether it's an email or... Um, or just a card or it doesn't even have to be a thank you card I, I like that because it makes uh, I know for sure that they got it and uh, they're able to uh, it's always good to know that they received the box next thing I received was a very nice surprise from someone here who has their own YouTube channel and they sent me this is Janet K and she has her own channel it's called Janet K and look at this beautiful card that she sent to me it is so beautiful look at that she made that herself and this is a card to warm and you're not going to see the information but look at the beautiful um, flower and embellishment that she made over there and, and I know I'm saying it all wrong because I am not a crafter like they are but this is awesome they're so beautiful I'm going to treasure this always I'm actually going to put that on my uh, workspace over here so I can always look at it thank you Janet and her channel is actually Janet K uh, that's where she goes by here on YouTube please check her out I am going to try to link that down below uh, just give me a few minutes to do so uh, when after I post I always have a hard time adding links because I don't have the right equipment to do so so I end up posting the video and then I add it on to the bottom in the comments so please if you don't see her channel right off you know refresh it and it should be on there but please try her out uh, go to her channel show her some love uh, she is Janet K thank you so much Janet I love it it is so beautiful I really appreciate that thank you for thinking of us and then I this is another card I received from Cindy and that's also for a housewarming really really I have to tell you guys that um, this time around when we moved that we I mean people just showed us love so much it's un unbelievable and we moved several we moved like you know and since I think 2011 twice already this is our third time so in nine years that's a lot for us because we normally stay in one place it's like 13 years you know and more we don't really move around that much but this is from Jeannie Thank you, Jeannie, so much. I, I, I love this. I love these cards. And this is actually like a, can you see that? It's like a app, like it was applied. It's so lovely. So I really feel like we've just been shown so much love with this move. Um, and it, it means a lot to us. So all of these are going to go in my journal. This one here is from Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. And all of them are going to go in my journal. I love all the messages in there. And this one is from Barb and Verlin. Isn't that beautiful? How thoughtful. And this one is actually from all my co-worker. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm wrong. This one is from my girlfriend, Yolanda. So I think that. This one is from my co-workers. And look at how lovely that is, too. And this one, yeah. So thank you everyone and I believe this one is from um, Ashley and she is actually she was my boss and she sent me and gave me a thank you card um, it was really beautiful because she wrote on there all of the um, she was relatively new uh, one of my new bo newer bosses straight from college I wouldn't even say straight from college maybe only a year or two from college and she brought this really beautiful thank you card in, in helping her adjust into this new role and her and all. 
I, it was very nice of her, very thoughtful to do so. Um, really love the kind words she thought of, uh, you know, put down and all. So all these cards are going to go inside my, <laughs> my journal. <laughs> I'm going to save all of them. Now on to the, our book of the, um, book of the video. I don't know what else to call it. And this one is a 1983 Annie's Crochet Winter Wonderland. And it's actually very nice. This is, I think, uh, number six. And I'm going to show you a couple things that I really, really, I'm going to try to hide the pair. But look at this set of uh, vests for children. Aren't they adorable? This one seems to have more garments. And I'm going to show you another one here. Hold on. I'm not ready. What else is new? Here's a his and her vest. Actually, very nice. I like that one. You know, for someone like me who's not really, never really made car garments, something simple um, like a vest, which I would imagine it's simpler to do, I would start with that because I'd be afraid <laughs> to do anything really delicate and intricate. That is a car wash mitt. Isn't that awesome? I'm sure it's done in the cotton and like a loop, but how, how creative, you know, a car wash mitt. And here's an awesome set that was on the, and that's the Winter Wonderland um, Afghan and pillow to match. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. Look at all the detail in that. These are snowflakes. How absolutely awesome. And here's something that I thought was also creative, was a scissor pouch. I like to show you guys these because uh, I like to show you a lot of the creativity that goes in and people come up with um, things to, to make. And I love that. that. That's a real, you know, yarn bombing going on in that house. <laughs> and then one more thing I'm gonna show you is this cute uh, puppy dog basket for the biscuits. How awesome is that? So this one was in 1983 and I found that I have an extra one. And I have an extra one with a cover. I don't know why it has this type of cover. It did have an address that I took off. So you will see that I took off. This is gonna have a little roughness there. But what I wanna do since I have an extra one, I wanna give it away to one of you who is interested. If any one of you is interested in this one, this Annie's Crochet book uh, from 1983, just comment below, please enter me, and I will pull a name in one week. So today is Saturday, we'll pull a name next Sunday, uh, the 12th. And, uh, and I'll send it out to uh, whoever is interested. Just make sure you put in the comments, please enter me and I'll send this out to you uh, if any, if you're interested in receiving one of these. Otherwise, let's see. Uh, I have been basically really not doing anything major uh, with any of my crocheting. I do have a lot of whips that I started, but I had to put them aside. You know what I have? I think I have unpacked my last box today. So I'm really excited because now I can get down to developing some routine uh, but I have been busy making if you see over there that is plarn and the reason I'm making rolling these now I cut them into strips originally remember I told you I used the plastic bags to uh, for my all my fragile items when I packed them I didn't you want to use newspaper I used them and this way I can reuse them into making plarn for homeless mats so I cut them into strips and I found that I have like two large storage containers packed tightly, let me tell you, sorry guys, of this plastic. And right now I feel like it's in my way. Uh, these two plastic containers, I don't really have anywhere to put them. So I wanted to um, started making them into um, balls of yarn, into plarn, I should say. So I have a couple there. I don't know if you can see that I made I'm not sure if there's six over there or seven. Um, 
I have them started and so that's what I've been working on and then I found that I really needed uh, some uh, I needed some dishcloths and I needed some um, oh, what do you call them I don't want to call them scrubbies because I'm not using scrubby yarns but I did make for my dishes to wash them now uh, what I did because I didn't have any scrubby yarn uh, this one right here I just made a really long piece and I did it into the back loop I crocheted so it has that ridge and then I folded it over so it's like a double ply it's thicker I didn't do my end yet and then I did a single crochet all the way around so it has a ridge to it and it's I just doubled it and this is the uh, sugar and cream cotton in let's see what color is this it does probably one oh summer splash really pretty I'm actually starting a dishcloth in the leftover um, I mean a yeah dishcloth but this is just for my dishes I don't like to use sponges I don't like to use um, because that stuff you know this way I can wash them when they get dirty or they get stinky and um, I don't like to use but if I have them I use them but I don't really like to so I like the way it came out and I have some left over to make a dish cloth so I am starting that making a dish towel then I have this yarn I made two more in this blue and cotton but this let me tell you this is really scratchy so I think it will work good for my um, for my dishes for my um, you know and I did the same thing this is just single crochet and I doubled it up I made one long one doubled it folded it and then I tie you know I did a single crochet and tying it in place um, here's it but it is really scratchy yarn it is this I think I had like two small skeins of this and uh, it's called Unger Unger Duet let me see if I can bring it it's called Unger Duet Unger U-N-G-E-R duet and it is 55% linen and 45% cotton it is really scratchy you guys it is not soft at all it is out and I, I had I've been holding on to it I think I got it at that resale shop um, wings but it was so scratchy I didn't know what to use it for and I've been holding on to it for a while and then I thought you know what I need some for my dishes let me make them I think this is going to work out well so I still have um, a skein and a quarter left and I think I'm just going to make a couple more of these so that's about all I have been doing you guys I have not made I don't have any other finished projects but these but I definitely need some and believe it or not I have never made any for myself I have you know and I found that a lot of because of I, I do a lot of donating and I crochet basically for donations that I don't really make anything for myself and that's something that I want to change and make some things that I need to kind of yarn bar yarn bomb <laughs> our place here <laughs> so anyway that's all I got for you guys I hope you enjoy your uh, fourth of July today stay safe don't be uh, shooting off fireworks by yourself uh, go uh, to a park or I mean there's many or different organizations that are holding firework displays um, so you can stay safe otherwise I will see you soon thank you so much and do not forget if you want to enter in for this Annie's crochet book from 1983 um, just put please enter me in the comments and then I will pick a winner uh, next Sunday on the 12th I think that is because today's the fourth, yeah, and um, and I'll mail it out to anywhere. All right, thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful fourth. Bye bye.